Kirby versus Hodor. And Hodor is a high master Terran, and he has been so for six seasons. He's trying to break into Grandmasters, as you can imagine. Uh, and uh, he's also a college student studying computer sciences and math at Virginia Tech. And in his free time, enjoys reading and sleeping, apparently. I do, too, enjoy sleeping. Yes, not so much reading on your end, though, as I understand it. Not, not, not a reader, nope. Indeed, <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> Um, but, uh, so, just also so you know that we're going to be giving away a pretty sweet prize today. Uh, do you, do you know what that prize is there, Mr. Gallegation? Well, that prize <laughs> is a package of fruit snacks. Yes. And a marble. You know what I realized, too? The, to the package of fruit snacks has the awesome Canadian spelling of, uh, naturally flavored fruit snacks. So, exotic. <laughs> <laughs> After game three, we're going to be giving away a code, so if you want to prepare yourself by going to SE sc2ctl.com slash code if you're not register, registered we're going to be giving away a couple codes you can enter those and have a chance to win it'll be pretty cool that is correct yeah uh, so you know moving into after that game we're going to have a PVT so it's going to be a little different lookout and uh, just so everyone knows this is Starcraft 2 Community Team League where the community is the boss so we want to introduce the players to you like we have been and, and really give the players a chance to be exposed to the community out there. Uh, we have a lot of great players here, a lot of players that are ready to break out into the scene, uh, and we've seen some really awesome play so far. Absolutely. So as it's Community's Team League, we uh, do appreciate your feedback. Please tweet it at us or uh, send it to uh, on our Reddit threads. Um, oh yes, let me post that again. So, yeah, let us know your feedback. If you like what you see, if you don't like what you see, let us know how we can improve it. We would love to hear your feedback, and uh, we just love to hear from you in general. Thanks for watching. Go, I went ahead and posted the link to our Reddit thread in the chat. Go ahead and check that out. Share it around with people, and that would be awesome to get as many people in here as possible so we can share these cool games. This, this match was really hyped up to us from uh, StarCraft II strategy as well as the organizers of the league, so... We have a lot of high hopes for this, so it should be pretty exciting as we jump right on in to game number three. Game and in the lower left corner of this game three, it is going to be our first Terran of the evening. He is from StarCraft II Strategy. His name is Hodor, I think. That's how you pronounce it. That is how you pronounce it. And in the top right-hand corner, representing Eternal Dreamers, knocking out Coyote in the last match, it is Happy. So, a PVT on Star Station. That's right. What, what, do you, what, what would you do in this situation if you were happy? If I was happy? Uh, well, as, uh, as you know, I am a Protoss player, and I do love my PVT, which is really, it seems awkward to say, because in um, Wings of Liberty, PVT was, like, literally bash my head against the wall, hate this matchup. <laughs> Um, but so far in Heart of the Swarm, I've been pretty comfortable. Uh, but I am definitely a huge fan of either the One Gate Expand or a in-base uh, One Gate into Quick Proxy Stargate, generally up here or over here, to get an Oracle out and a second Oracle with Mothership Core. And you can you catch them off guard. They haven't gotten mines and, and uh, other things like that. It's, it can do a lot of damage. I just like to follow it up with a Stalker at the front. And you know, with all this room around the natural bases, you gotta be expecting drops on this map. You just, you just have to. Yeah, and you know the positions are so far apart, especially with the buff to the to the warp prism uh, in mid and late game for Protoss. The warp prism is such a powerful tool, and you know, as we know with Terran, the medevac is such a powerful tool in every phase of the game. So, I think drops are almost a given from both sides. And hopefully they're able to use them effectively as they can really change the game, change the momentum. Looks like uh, Happy is going to be putting down double gas, putting probes right in that. Uh, Zenox saying it's laggy. Uh, if anyone is anyone else experiencing lag as well, uh, Zenox, you may try also just refreshing the stream. Sometimes that helps. So a marine coming down from that barracks that just finished. Orbital command following it up. And a SCV moving across the map wants to see what's going on in Happy's base. 
Chrono Boost coming down on probes. Looks like it's going to be Cybernetics Core quick into Mothership Core. I would assume Stalker is always a potential. Um, interested to see what Hodor does with this as he's getting the quick factory. Is he going to go into quick Stargate and do that modern 111 MMMM style? <laughs> <laughs> Four M's, huh? Absolutely. Marine, Medivac, Marauder, Mine. That is effective. So again, just want to ask everyone out there, there's been uh, a person in chat that has said the stream is a bit laggy. Is uh, is anyone else experiencing that? If you are, let us know so we can check it out. As uh, STV is going to scout up, he's going to see pretty much everything in there. going to see double gas, see cyber core, see gateway. Uh, Stalker thanks, moves Luca. down to appreciate see. appreciate that. Thanks, Bird Boss. Appreciate that as well. So it looks like the stream is okay. So if you had a little bit of lag, maybe just try refreshing that, and hopefully that will help you out. Gonna be Twilight Council coming down from Haffy also. So, uh, quick blink or Dark Shrine, both very powerful against Protoss, especially with that Mothership Core. Mine going down on the ramp, so that will prevent any scouts at this point. Haffy is sending a probe around the map, checking to see if there's any proxies, and also getting ready to put his own proxy pylon down. Where is he going to? Yep, putting a pylon. That is a that is quite the distant pylon. Maybe that's potentially for us a, a uh, proxy building of some kind, unless he's just setting up for spreading proxy uh, pylons around for late game for those zealot wraparound harasses. He uh, wants to be ready for it. Mothership core is hanging out down here, just keeping an eye out for any drops. The probe is going to move in. Is he going to? Oh, it looks like he's just going to skirt on by. Hodor doing a little bit of uh, Supply Depot dancing as he loads up a medevac to go on out to do a drop up. Oh, is this going to go right over that pylon? Looks like he has this queued up to go just south, so it's going to go just out of vision of that pylon. So Hodor, I'm sorry, Haffy is not going to see it coming in as Hodor is going to be... Is there a mine in that medevac? Yes, there yeah, is. There's indeed. one mine and there's another one walking across the map. So Getting right ready. now... Haffy has no detection whatsoever, so if he can get this mine down, that's going to be serious business right there. Uh, he is going to have to go a long way with that medevac, though, because he does have a, a nice pylon out here to scout for it. And this, oh, this probe is going to go down towards the lower tip. It's going to cross past this medevac. Is he going to see it? He absolutely does. So he knows that's coming in. Question is, does he react to it? And the answer is... He's pulling stalkers back. Yes. Back to his mothership core, and he's recalling straight back oh, into the base. Oh, but it's going to have to be really quick, because that mine's going to drop out, and it burrows, so that mine is going to be there for quite oh. some time. And Hodor has a mine in the natural uh, mineral line as well, so those probes can't really do much at the moment. Yeah, Haffy, this is bad news bears for Haffy, as both of the mining is going to be hindered, if not denied, at both bases. Haffy does... A little bit of probe on the mine minerals, but decides to. Oh, looks like he's going to split them up, but hopefully he has a timer good because this mine is cooled down, so it has oh, shots. Those... It's going to get up. Oh, oh my gosh, so, so many messy. probes go down. That's a total of eight or nine. Oh, it looks like another one just went off in the main base as the Marines come back too. This is going to be big trouble for Happy. And Happy decides he's just got to move in. He's moving his stalkers down. Those probes are just getting crazy harassed. Uh, Haffy gonna go in to see what he can do. Is he's gonna go Victor up this? Greeted oh, by a oh, mine. Oh, oh wow, crazy. that was an amazing blink. Avoids the shot from that mine completely. He must have seen the dark spot on the ramp. Great micro by Haffy on that. Oh, but the Marines are dropping. They're gonna kill the only pylon that's powering these warp gates. So they are gonna shut down, and he will not be able to warp anything else in. You know, and Hodor does have a well-placed bunker in here and a tank, so it's gonna take a lot of damage. Even blinking by there, but. It's going to be able to take down only about a supply depot. These marines are still wreaking havoc along with the mines in Happy's base. And Happy needs to, to win the game here. If he does not win here, then he's he's lost. Yeah, he, Happy doesn't have a chance. With that tank and destroyed. that bunker. He's got three probes left on the map. Look at the positioning of that five. tank. It's way back in there. He's going to blink in and kill the tank, but that bunker at the west position of his base and the east is going to be too much for him to handle, especially with those SCVs there to repair it. So... I, Haffy's just not going to be able to do this, I don't think. Yeah, Hodor is really sieging himself up in his main base. Those SCVs are repairing from the back, and the Stalkers just aren't able to get any actual damage done. The Mothership Core does go down. That's a huge loss, and those Stalkers are taking big hits, trying to do some Blink Micro, but does lose one, another falls, another falls, and GG. 
Well, that was a uh, certainly a quick game, but man, that is uh, the rough thing with going with the build that Haffy did, the three gate cybernetics core into an expansion because you just don't have any detection and if uh, the Terran player goes for a quick mind drop like that you are just there's literally nothing you can do about it as he, we saw there he, I mean he just lost all his probes to mine explosions and uh, had to commit to an all-in and Hodor was ready for it he was ready uh, with even just the positioning of his buildings and his base the stalkers weren't able to get to the mineral line they weren't able to do a lot of damage the SCVs were there repairing so they it was just a very well-executed build. Absolutely so.